How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are fishing the 41 bridge again because the fishery has just been that good. Sorry for the extra noise, right? We're underneath the highway, pretty much the bridge. I do want to elaborate that today I will do a better job explaining because today I do have more time. I'm out here pretty much all day. It's only 11 o'clock so I got plenty, plenty of time. We're going to learn the basics. We're going to sit down. I'm going to show you from how to tie it, uh, how to rig it up, what hooks I use, what sinker I use, what ounce, everything from what bait I use. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys out on the water. That was completely opposite. But anyways, yeah, stick around. I'll see you guys on the water. Alright guys, so I purposely didn't rig up because I want to show you guys how to rig this up. Um, it's kind of windy, so sorry for the audio. But hopefully you guys can hear me and know what I'm talking about. I'm going to get a swivel. Three-way swivel works, two-way works, doesn't matter. Just swivel. Okay. Like that. And do a polymer knot. Okay. So got our swivel. Okay. Now we're gonna get our leader. Out here in Winnebago system. I like to use 20 pound, uh, 20 to 25 pounds because the rocks are sharp down there. Cut you off, catch a big fish, and because there are big fish here. So I use the suffix here. It doesn't really, I don't have a brand preference, right? I'll just use whatever I could find as floral. As long as it's floral, that's good. As long as it's strong enough. Okay, tap that. It's like that little fisherman knot or whatever that off now this is my leader to my hook okay i do that first this is going to be about maybe a two two foot long leader okay because i want to stay at the bottom anyways as you can see this is really strong line we'll be using circle hooks that way if i'm late for the hook set it will hook itself again i'm tying a snail knot what I like to use that way they can hook themselves once they run off okay just like that boom it's tight cut that off you don't have to cut too close I like to leave a extra room now we need our sinker leader okay you use the same pound test you can use lighter that way if you do need to break off you just break off the sinker no big deal Just like that. Cut that off. Jeez, no clipper's not sharp. And I'll, I like to fish close to the bottom, so I'm gonna make it maybe five inches. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna make it too high up. I mean, I'll play around later, but for now, I usually start off with just like maybe that much. Okay, so the sinker will be here, the swivels right there. Okay, and when you're fishing big river system like this, you wanna use heavy sinkers okay because find one uh i couldn't find any at the store but i still have a couple left this is a one ounce and a half i believe right just get the biggest ones you can find triangle sinkers are good or well, pyramid sink i should call it uh, those are good i just like to use these teardrop looking ones because i don't know just grew up using it so i use it i don't think it really matters right right just like that so that's what it looks like that's how you rig up a catfish uh wolf river rig system okay it's basically just a giant minnow rig of a wolf river rig <laughs> this is what it is right here let me see if i can get a good close-up this is the main line 65 pound power pro uh the swivel forgot what brand it is but it's a three-way swivel it's a sinker and the leader and the hook Today we're using shrimp uh you could go medium or large it doesn't honestly it doesn't matter just your preference i like to use two that's just me all right i'll split it i'll hook it again just start off with the big meal and see what happens right? i like to save the tail last because i'll explain in a bit here i like to use this like tough texture right there and hook it 
That way it keeps all the shrimp together. Okay, if I have to, I'll just rip that piece off right there. And I'll hook that right there too. So all that little fun jazz stuff does not matter. It's really good for catfish. Now what we do is cast as far as we can and hope for the best. That's it. Good eaters. Perfect eating size catfish. Oh jeez. Good start. Just keep it going. Just like that. Look, by itself. There's fish here. You guys see that? Rod almost went in the water. Nice little drum for you guys. Woo, that was scary. <laughs> I, I never ran so fast in my life. That was cool. All right guys, so as I'm fishing, I'm gonna break it down real quick. The idea of it is that the river in the middle is the deepest part, right? Because this is where all the boats go through. Uh, they wanna make sure nobody gets caught driving the boat. If you think about it, method here is to pass into the middle of the river and let it drift to the ledge of the river right? so it's going to come closer to the shore but remember that there's a dip and then it goes up a little bit so you want to set your sinker there and your bait there and hopefully a fish that travels through that the deepest part of the river will come up and eat it the current is picking up just slightly just a little bit hopefully that current will push the fish closer to the shore as well and catch a fish or two so stay tuned but keep grinding That's a nice cat. Chill bro, chill. It's a real nice catfish. Just like that boys. Woo! That is nice channel. Wow, this is so crazy. Look at that. It's pretty big. So cool. It's going good. Wow.
All right, guys, we made it to the other side because it is getting hot. And when I say hot, it's about uh, 85 degrees. Yeah, we're talking about 85 degrees. As you guys saw in my previous video, I was here before. Uh, it's a lot deeper on this side for sure. The other side is a little uh, shallow. So we're going to fish on this side. cut me off oh it's still on it's still on i like <laughs> that's a nice fish oh no it popped off oh crap what happened ah uh, it popped off that's a fish that's a fish that's a fish Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. It's running right at me. Oh my God, it's running right at me. Freaking drum. <laughs> Jeez. I had it this whole time. Why are you guys so fast? What the heck, dude? What do you send on my hook work? Jeez, just like that, popped off. There we go. Got him, guys. I just turned on my battery, too. I just turned on my freaking GoPro. Oh my gosh, that was freaking epic. Jeez. Oh. Scatfish. Woo. Oh, jeez, broke off. <laughs> and it popped right off. Gosh. That's what's been happening lately. It just popped right off. <laughs> it's not that big, but it's good either. Oh my gosh. Jeez, holy drag slipped. Oh. It's running right at me, guys. Jeez, that's a big one. That's a nice catfish. And he took me into the weeds too. Holy cow. There we go. Oh my gosh. Right where I want to hook him. That's a good fish. Ah. Oh. Oh my gosh. That fish. Woo. Dang. Looking good. cat going into the coop nice finally man
Well guys, I think I'm calling it quits. Like it's just too hot now. The bite has slowed down by a lot. Like I haven't had a bite for like three hours now. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna go home. I didn't wanna wait for it to get too dark to talk to you guys. Then it will suck to make a closure, right? Cause you won't be able to see me. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll do my best to break it down every time I make a video. I know I need to do a better job doing that and I will do that. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave some comments down below. Hit that thumbs up and I don't know what we're doing next, but we're gonna do something interesting, okay? So stay tuned. I'll see you guys out on this next trip.